Alright guys, um, tonight, well actually this morning, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to show you how to check and clean the uh, Magneto on a bridge in Stratton. I don't know what horse this is. I picked this up yesterday out of somebody's yard. It said it had a tag on it said free. So, picked it up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this little cover off. All right, there's two felt screws. One there, one there. Put that right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the fuel canister off. It says uh, disgusting. Now, when you do this, you have to take the dipstick off or out of there. So, that's got to go. Now, we're going to get, it's, there's three, five, sixteen bolts. So, we're going to get our trusty little nut driver here and five sixteenths. hard to do this one handed, but now I usually take these excuse me and uh just disregard them. And uh, where I usually put them back in the hole there, in the uh, threaded holes, but I'm not going to this time. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, forgot about these. We're going to take our long extension, quarter inch ratchet. And I think it's a 3 8 so we're going to do this. I'm a dog out here. You see out there, boy? A big old cricket. Alright, make sure you're going the right way, of course. There's the hidden bolt right there, and it is a 3 8 This is a three-piece item, so be sure not to lose any of the pieces. I want to apologize for the quality right now because, uh, well, huh. I forgot my camera inside, and I don't feel like going back in. Anyway, here's one of the bolts, or one of the pieces, and I always try to keep them together, so. Get up under there, there's a spacer. There's number two part, and the third part is the fuel system. Which, of course, you know, you got the fuel line right here, so it's no big deal. I just kind of lay it off somewhere. It's always a good idea when you're doing this to go ahead and check the fuel system. When I got this, uh, I had no fuel in it, so that's a plus. Um, I ain't got much room to work with here, so please bear with me. Stop it. You know, I'm just going to take those out and I'm going to set them in there anyway. That way I don't lose them. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to take this uh, oil filler off, which is kind of in the way. You know, you can notice everything's kind of in the way on these, which, yes, it gets annoying, but, you know, it don't really matter. So we're going to take that off. There's one bolt right there. Now, before anybody says anything, there are some snapper lovers. Um, 
this is not the original engine for this mower. The original engine took a uh, uh, full starter that actually went on to a gear and he pulled straight up. This one obviously has this one. So, okay. Now what we're going to do, and I'm missing a bolt. Great. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take these bolts. There should be four. This one's only got three, I just noticed. One here, one here, one there, and one back there. Usually they're all three eighths. Since I'm missing one, I'm going to go ahead and just take the three I have and take those off. And I usually use the valley down here in the deck. This one don't have much of one, but I'm going to use it anyway to keep the bolts that I pull out of this cover handy. And that wasn't on very tight at all. Now, a reminder, this is the first time I pulled this mower apart. So it's going to be... It's going to be kind of weird. And everything's going to be new. And So this is the first time I've seen the inside of this. So I don't know what kind of BS is laying in here. But we're going to find out. And... Oh my god, it's a mess. That don't look too bad. Could use a little cleaning, some WD-40. The engine's free, which is good. Now, what we're going to do, and those are quarter inch. And I'm going to light a cigarette real quick. Look. So we're going to take the magneto off. Now the magneto must have a ground for it to work. So we're going to clean up the grounds. We're going to clean up all the connections. We're going to probably put a new uh, spark plug in it. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. And we'll call this video complete. And then I'll come back to you with another one. Okay. One right there. And there. We're going to take the magneto loose and off. Now, this being a newer engine, this one should have a kill starter or a kill, uh, kill switch that runs up right along here, which it's not been routed properly, so I'm going to take this off real quick. Excuse me. All right, there's the magneto coil. What we're going to do is where the bolts came out right here, we're going to clean those until they're shiny on all four corners. We're going to clean these right here where the flywheel meets, and I'll come back to you with a part two. Oh yeah, we're going to clean this. The connection points here. And I will come back to you, the part two, here in just a minute.